What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Standard Saturday if you're watching this on YouTube and if you are watching it on Twitch, happy Friday I guess. Uh, we're playing this Black White Vampires list today. We have uh, pretty much all the things you'd expect from Black White Vampires list. Dusk Legion Zealot, Legion Lieutenant, and Martyr of Dusk are the two drops. For both four Queen's Commission and four Call of the Feast, so we're trying to make as many vampires as possible I guess. Did I say zombies? I think I said Black White Zombies. I meant Black White Vampires. And the only reason I caught that was because it didn't sound right in my head. Uh, profane pro one Profane Procession, one Champion of Dusk, and two Crested Sun Mares were the cards that really drew me to this list. I also don't mind having an Immortal Sun in the sideboard, and two more Profane Processions, which are pretty sweet. And four Radiant Destiny is also pretty sweet. Being able to have Legion Lieutenant and Radiant Destiny to give all your, all your vampires plus two plus two is pretty powerful. Especially when you have eight cards that make more than one zombie vampire whatever these things are whatever these undead idiots are i don't even care and um yeah deck's pretty straightforward i mean it's it's basically a black white tribal deck uh with some cool top end cards and a lot of lingering souls-esque cards should be gaining a good amount of life due to lifelink due to lifelink due to lifelink and we have crested sun to take advantage of that so uh yeah let's try it out see what happens Uh, Storm of the Vault. Yeah, I can see that. What's a Sanctum Seeker? The 4-drop? That guy's pretty good. I don't know. I also didn't make this list. So if you guys are asking about specific cards, why don't you have this card? Why don't you have that card? Didn't make the list. It went 5-0 in Magic Online League, and that's where I find most of the decks I play. So let's play first. Uh, this hand looks pretty good. We have one drop. We can we can actually play Legion. Legion's landing on turn one. Nothing on turn two, and then drop for or uh, drop for profane profane procession on turn three. That's gonna be our. Mayor of Puntsville. Wow, wow, Puntsville, Alabama. That's my that's my hometown actually. Yeah, the, it's the Hellrider Vampire, which is actually pretty good. I will 100% block this idiot. Oh, no, you don't want to come in? You don't want to say hi? Mm -hmm. I'm just not attacking. If they want to actually kill this vampire, more power to him. Wow, there are three draft boys in the chat? That is unbelievable to me. I feel like there's a... Like, the draft boy signal goes up in the sky, and you guys all just show up. Oh, a daring buccaneer. Oh, they missed the second land drop? Everything's coming up Millhouse here. $92 on Pauper? I think they need to rename that format. That's pretty ridiculous. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yep, figured that guy would get in there. Oh god, don't have two of those guys. Oh boy, that's not what we wanted. Anyway, four vampires is pretty good here, so... I'll try to make do. Next time we can start eating different guys. Alright. I'm going to block one of these dudes. And we block with four so that we gain a million life. And also, if they have any removal spell, we can still kill it. So, If we block with two and they have like a shock, it's just an utter blowout. Whereas right now, we gain four instead of two. When you got lifelinkers, always err on the side of... Oubliette is $50 and it's a popper card. I know it's a popper card because it was common in the set it was printed. How is that real, dude? Oh, you can get them for like 26 on TCG Player. Like, you can get heavily... You can get played ones for like 30 bucks. It's not great, but I mean... Oh, it's still ridiculous. It's still not reasonable. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Wish I could flip these guys. I wish I drew more vampires instead of seven lands, but one, two, three, four. I always count the number of cards I drew, okay, playable cards, versus the number of lands I've drawn, and one, two, three, four. Four versus seven, not the best. I guess the, re the rest of this tribe is on coffee break, yeah. it's. I guess it's daytime now, so it's really hard for them to get out. Also, can we... Can we examine why the sun is out in all of these pictures and these vampires are just fine? Is that a, is that a known quantity here? I'm just going to take four. I don't really feel like blocking and getting blown out by a, by a thing. Oh, these guys have first strike, so we actually should have blocked this guy. We actually didn't gain all the life we wanted to. I don't know how first strike works, so... <laughs> I'm actually real tempted to cycle this cast out because really they have soul rings that's pretty that's pretty effective oh an on an on crop an on crap crasher Do they not exert? Hmm. Let's try this old chestnut again. Only I'm not the first striker. <laughs> Do you know the joke about German sausages? This is a family stream, buddy. The odds of me playing this is real low when we have Profane Procession on board. I'd rather have that. And if we draw a second one, oh my god. <gasps> that is kind of like a second one. Wow, we could play both if this land didn't come into play tapped. But here we are. One, two, three. So we just play this this turn. We'll Profane Procession, then we can play both of these next turn. That seems better. Got him. Man, look at all these creatures I'm going to have as soon as my life changes. As soon as my, my procession ends. I will take two from this guy. We're really holding off the red deck, which is pretty good. Wow. This guy's going to draw us like ten cards at one point. I don't think there's any danger of playing all these guys, right? Like, they're not just going to blow us out with something ridiculous, right? They're not going to be like fiery cannonade or something. That would be hilarious if they did. I'll be honest with you. These guys are coming in. Oh, I guess that's it. Seven seven one one life leaguers on board is really all they want to they want to deal with. I understand. I understand. I actually don't think the profane procession is great in this matchup. I'd probably rather have fatal push. I also don't think Ixalan's Binding is great. Or cast out. One of these two is probably not worth it. For the other fatal push. I think that's all we really want, though. I'll keep this hand. Turn one Legion into turn two Legion into turn three Legion. Okay, this guy's not called Legion, but you get the point. They're all Legion. Oh, hey.
I did change the the title to to standard, right? Yeah. What's what's the deal? Why are you guys why are you guys acting like this? No blocks. You got it. Now this deck is looking way more. Uh, you know. Blocky. Another land would be nice here. I would not mind another land arena. Oh, I see. A little PN Kieran Alar. Or just PN Alar. There's no Kieran here. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm pretty sure you just play Queen's Commission here. If we hit any land, we get to do a thing. We get to do two things is what I'm saying. And we have Dust Legion Jealous to try to hit the land. So the problem is without any dual lands, we have to kind of predict what land we're going to hit. And it also doesn't really work against uh, Concealed Courtyard or Forsaken Wastes. I think that's what that card's called, Forsaken Wastes. I'm like scrolling up just to find out the name of that land. Are you going to pump that dude? Oh, perfect. Do you even know how much life I can gain in this deck? I don't think so, man. That's pretty good. Oh, actually, we just flipped this. Never mind. I'm dumb. We do one of these jobs. Oh, I guess I have to take another point. God, I'm so bad at this game. This makes white, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Never mind. Everybody in. Flip this thing and play a dude. Wow, you're just going to take this? I'm at 19 again? All right. Seems good. I guess we'll go to 18. I guess we'll go to 17. What up, Static Suicide? What up, Mitch? Oh, lightning strike on my lieutenant. That's sad. Oof. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, not coming in with Soul Scar Mage. Interesting. Come on, Legion Lieutenant number two. Radiant, radiant thing. That's neither of the things I just asked for. We can just probably binding this guy, attack for one, two, three, four, five, six. A bit of 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. We're definitely playing this. I feel like we just play Call here. We can attack with everybody. They'll block a vampire. They take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we just have a million dudes to block. What up, Phylos? Yeah, this feels better. This is really hard to deal with, I think. Just having so many blockers that all gain us life. And that's the end. All right. That was a fast round one. What was that 15 minutes? 10 minutes? Yeah, like Rampaging Ferocidon would have given this deck a bad time. What up, Sarah? Good to see you. That was a little Sarah C humor. It's not great. I don't I don't promise that kind of greatness. Boop. Hmm. <laughs> 
I will play first. Definitely keeping this. I like this guy on two. Would you say you, Sarah, see what I did there? Ha <laughs> ha. These are terrible. Don't repeat these. Oh, an island, eh? Oh, wow. Why did I do that? I thought I was playing Legion Lieutenant. I saw the Legion Lieutenant I drew, and I'm like, oh, I need a black here, so I'm going to have to get the black. And then I actually just played a dude that didn't require black, so I just took a point that I didn't need to. That was terrible. Just pretend I'm not. That was a technical error. That would have never happened in real life. No, it probably would have. We're just going to actually play this guy and then play double Legion Lieutenant. Let's see if we want to counter this. We sure are drawing a lot of Forsaken Sanctuaries, aren't we? I never said that quote. Why are you quoting me with things I didn't quote? Oh, Drake Haven. Yeah, okay. So we have three lands in hand. That's pretty cool. It is not cool. I think they're dead on board, though. So hopefully they have something to kill our guys. Hopefully they don't, is what I meant to say. One chicken is worth two in the bush. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't... Oh, God. Did you just kill my... Okay. Okay. That was an interesting choice. But now you have a white, I guess. If you kill this guy, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, you're at 11. Is this game over? And we win. All right, this game, this deck's pretty gas. I feel like we're bringing Lost Legacy here. We'll take out the Fatal Pushes. Bring in Lost Legacy. Take out the Procession. Bring in all the duresses we can get. Um, cast out is great. Binding is great, but we're we don't need all those. We can bring in duresses, which kind of do the same. Fragmentize is also good. I feel like I want all these sideboard cards. I feel like I should look this deck up. Okay, so now we have people in the chat asking for Mono Redtron and Mono Bluetron. I can't live like this. I can't do this. You guys need to get your lives together. Get them together and go Tron yourselves. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry I said that. I feel like I'm better than that, but... God, you guys make me think I'm... I'm trying to figure out the win condition of this deck. Like, it's just Drakehaven, right? Like, if we just get rid of the Drakehaven, it should be fine. I'm going to cut one more thing. Probably something stupid like a Radiant Destiny, I guess. Blood Moon Tron. Um, good lord. Sorry, I think if you want me to play Blood Moon Tron, you probably have to evaluate your life choices, because that is... You are a sick individual. Hmm. I don't hate this hand. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay, four drop is not what we're looking for here. What? 
Oh, I was like, why did you tap that? Oh, you're in cycle. I get it. Oh, look, another fragment. <laughs> really? This is how you're going to be? Why are you the way that you are? Also, if they end up like, um, settling us and like exiling two tokens and a Legion Lieutenant for us to get three lands, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to have six here. We don't have anything for one black that we're going to do at instant speed. I don't have to trick them. Here comes a Drake Haven. Yeah, I almost want to fragmentize more, but they do have cards that are in their hand that we just want to get rid of, so... Actually, that's pretty okay because we get to play Queen's Commission af afterward. We also deal them like a million, so. Actually, maybe this is the recovery card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they do have Fumigate, so we're just gonna play this. Stupid Jawa, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Here we go. Oh. Huh. I see. <sighs> Literally one mana shy of the vigilance. God, if this is a land, we could just call to the feast, get vigilance. This is a trade. These are trades. Everything dies. That's pretty bad. I'm also hungry. One for one. I have not played a green black list yet. Green black explore deck yet. Huh. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just gonna play this to get the uh, the city's blessing. There we go. And you can stay home. Yep. Get rid of lieutenant somehow, or get rid of radiant destiny. That's actually even sure. We're at 39. Still think we're doing pretty good. Yep. Cycle, make a Drake, block, sure. Sarah, thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers, buddy. Mm. 
This never resolves, right? They just do countervailing winds here. Or it resolves, okay. Yeah, we're definitely bringing in more fragmentized. I think the only cards we do care about are we're not gonna we're not gonna rip cycling cards out of their hand. The only cards we care about are cast out, Drake Haven, search, everything they have we care about, so. Where where is a crested sunmare when you need it? Watch, we're gonna top deck a crested sunmare here. And we're just gonna have uh no way to cast it because four lands this whole time. No attack, huh? Hey, that's pretty good. You gotta counter this guy, right? No doubt. Oof, rude. It, it, it bugs me like crazy that this is right in the middle of our lands and it actually looks like a land. It should actually be off to the side over here somewhere so you actually don't get it confused with the card you can use. Would you get rid of Shefet Dunes? Sure, like you do. Actually, I, I forgot about this guy because it was on the other side of the City Blessing, so I actually thought it was... Probably should have got a black, so we have double black, but... We still do, we just have to take damage to do it. And, uh. What just happened? Just like, what does this thing do? Destroy an attack? Sure. A second search. So much searching is happening right now. Wow. Settle the wreckage and torrential gear hulk. Seems good. Make a dude. Yeah, Dur duress is actually actively bad against against Drake Haven, but they still don't get a uh, a settle the wreckage against us, which is pretty good to good to know. Gear. They're also at nine. I guess they could Gear Hulk settle the wreckage, which is a thing, but whatever. I guess I don't need to write that because it's up here. I see. I'm hitting F6 here. I don't know why it's not. There we go. Figured it out. I'll take two before you fumigate. Sure. Actually, if we Queen's Commission activate a Danto, it's basically the same thing. Except we don't have a mana to do that because I thought it was two in a tap. It's actually three in a tap. So, actually worse. Magic's hard. Also, this is really getting on my nerves, like right in the middle, because I'm like, oh, we have one, two, three, and this. Nope, still don't. I don't know why this one land is on the other side of the city's blessing that looks like a land. Hmm. <sighs> Get a Drake Haven here.
guess we'll just play all our guys. We know they have few, we know they have torrential gear hulk and one other card in hand. And now they can ask Kanto for another card if they want to. Sure. Oh, Drake Haven number four. Completely reasonable. We're just gonna go to the next game. F Duress is great against cards like Fumigate, but um, I think one Legion's landing out. Fragmentize is just really important here. Take out one of these guys for this. Actually, if they're going like creatures, maybe Profane Procession is pretty good here because we can actually steal Torrential Gear Hulks and uh, What up, Tin Man? Let's cut the duresses. Bring in... Actually, I, st I still want a couple duresses. I think they're good. We had a lot of life, but, like, they have inevitability. We don't have inevitability. I don't like playing games where I have 40 life and you have to just grind me out with... Would they have... They have his Kanta... They have a Drake Haven. They had Torrential Gear Hook in hand. And they just fumigated our board. Like, we're not winning that game. Well, we got the lands here. Hey, speaking of the immortal sun. Every little thing. Why is that song? Why did you say that? And why is that song not stuck in my head? How's every little thing? Oh, I see now. It all makes sense to me now. I'll cycle a renewed faith. Okay, you got it. They did nothing. What are the odds this call call of the feast resolves? Pretty low, right? I feel like we actually just wait. Um, what if they have sensor? Sensor is so good. I'm just gonna pass. We'll get censored. We, we're not gonna get. We're not gonna risk the sensor. God, they love killing our dunes. Yeah, they did want to blow up the desert, but I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do something and then give them a sensor, then they can blow up the desert next turn. Like, that's fine. Oh, this is amazing, actually, because now we can uh, kill Drakehaven.
What up, Connor? Yeah, well, now we get to play Immortal Sun, which is pretty cool. That seems good. They can like Ixalan's binding this, and then we just Ixalan's binding back. Yep. Seems good. Oh, uh, I have no idea if this is a version of the Blessings deck from the GP Memphis. I have no idea. I literally found it in the 5-0 deck lists, and it looked cool, so we're playing it. Always yield to that. I will be okay with drawing multiple cards a turn. They missed two land drops so far? That's pretty good. Okay. Seem a good. Oh, guy costs one. All of our spells. It's not just. Wow. I wow. Okay, that's pretty good. You got it. You got it. Hashtag blessed. Fumigate two dudes. Sure, that's a good guy. Hmm. Well, butter my biscuit. Oh, I just take seven here. Okay, that's pretty good. Fumigate. Well, you're going to attack and then fumigate. That's pretty good. No, no attack, no fumigate. What's going on right now? Oh, boy. Are you going to settle the wreckage? You can't fumigate with Torrential Gear Hulk. You could settle the wreckage. Which is the saddest thing that's ever happened. Uh, we're going to wait till blocks. If we steal the cat now, then we don't have enough mana. If they play Torrential Gear Hulk, I'd rather steal that. So we're going to wait for blocks. We They take less, but we are stealing it now because now they can't block with the Torrential Gear Hulk. And we get to keep our guy, which is really the important part, I think. And we're still one one mana away from a Danto. They could wipe the board. We still get a 2-2 two, two out of it. Seems fine. They gain a million life if they do that, but... Ah, oh, Fumigate Incoming. Sounds good. Well, it is what it is. One, two, three, four, five. They gain two, but then they gain two less, so... It's all fine.
Yeah, apparently two cards a turn is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. And we still can't. We're still one mana shy of activating this and this in the same turn. But drawing two cards this turn, I'm real tempted to just play this. Big Bar, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. I don't think we have to, like, keep cards in our hand and try to trick them. I think we'll just play everything out here. MTG Arena seems interesting. It's hard to... Sure. It's hard to say how it's going to be when it comes out, but I think if it competes with Hearthstone or Elder Scrolls Legends or games like that, I think it's in good shape. Um, but it's really hard to dictate if that's going to work. You know what I mean? Like, especially because Magic has historically not the best track record in terms of uh, digital di digital offerings, but I, I, have, I have hope. I have a... Uh, So if we attack and they, they're never going to let us gain life. So it doesn't matter if we play this guy now. We could have actually activated this, only attack with these guys and it's lethal. But... They have to have settle, right? Five cards. I'll give you another turn. Seems good. No, oh, maybe not. Don't want to go to three. All right, so we uh, got the sickle. I got the uh, the subtle read. And also, if they try to fumigate, we're just going to exile Crested Sun Mare with Profane Command. Profane Procession, not Profane Command. Well, we have nothing on board, but we also have an Adanto and Immortal Sun. And a crested, uh, crested sun man under profane procession. I feel like we're in good shape here. Oh, that's pretty cute. Isn't that special? We're at 36. We have no reason to play anything else here. We have Adanto. We have Profane. We can just literally just draw cards forever. I never create, forget to create dudes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'd be creating dudes all day. Whatever that means. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's do that. Vampire.
You're at five. Let's say you can make three dudes. Yep. One land. All right. I'm just going to play Martyr here. Man, I wish we had a Scavenging Grounds in here. That'd be nice. This is grindy, dude. Is it Torrential Gearhulk time? Probably. <laughs> this guy's just always going to come down, right? Encounter that good? Oh, all right. Okay. Torrential Gear Hulk. This is beautiful. I'm just going to take this guy. As you settle all of my wreckages. I guess we'll let you cast it first. Like it matters. It doesn't matter. Cool. All right, so now we have Regal Caracal, Torrential Gear Hulk, and Crested Sun Mare at our disposal, which is pretty good, let's be honest. I have no more basic lands in my deck. Also pretty okay. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four five to activate this no it's actually four so actually oh no it is five so one two one two three four five and then we have one two we'll just play the land so we can adonto and we play the land all right never mind uh, it's hard to keep track when you have 36 lands in play i guess sure instant card. Do we have any instants we can use? Frag? Nope. I don't think we have any cards we can actually cast here. <coughs> Nero77, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Bruderuski. Someone just messaged me and asked, what color What color mana does City's Blessing tap for? That person is uh, is a troll. I paid one more. Don't care. We'll put Regal Caracal into play. Okay, they don't have... I feel like we win here. Profane Procession was pretty much MVP this game. They have so few creatures, but they're all very, very good. And it also lets us save creatures like Crested Sunmare from... Uh... Oh, 
Okay, we just win. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just gonna kill all your things, man. Oh, the old the old two O so far, pretty good. What are you guys talking about? BC? What's BC? Burning Crusade? Are you guys talking about World of Warcraft right now? That's unbelievable. Garador, if I 5 -oh this or if I 2-3 this, we're probably still doing a cube. I don't see how that changes anything. Any hand that goes Legion's Landing into Legion's Attendant is pretty good, right? I will keep. I think a mic is en route. We got a mic B inbound. Canadian Frank on your cube? Maybe. Who knows where Canadian Frank is at any given time, you know? This guy is getting shocked, right? Zaxor, I love how you I love how you you said this again. Alright, I'll read it. Vamping it up with the FNM today, cheering for Frank and for Sarah Sea. We pray long games, fighting with a winning chance. Our opponent gets got more cycles than Tour de France, but with all the life and all the vamp, we all know Frank will be the champ. Deck looks fun, and we have a good time. That's why I just have to spew out these rhymes. Let's now win all today, because Frank is the guy that knows the way. <laughs> oh, wonderful! I don't think we're Legion Lieutenanting here, because then they just kill it. We kind of want to save that dude. I'll just attack for three. You can magma spray this guy. And then we can save our lieutenant for a rainy day. Here we go. Okay, so we just predict everything that ever that ever happens ever. Also, this guy drawing us three cards seems pretty good in this Grixis matchup, but what do I know? Oh, a little virtuoso. Here comes my name of Jeff over here. <laughs> oh, my name of Jeff. Oh, I guess I can't cast this while this is on the stack. I don't know how magic works. Mike approaches. I can hear him getting ice to crunch. Yeah, you can. We can. You can probably hear the the ice maker from in there. I mean, they heard it. My name is Jeff. Oh, pernicious dude. One GB is the name of Jeff. Or is it? Uh, I, I think it is. Look at all these Whirler Virtuosos that I don't even care about right now. I'm going to draw five cards. How's that sound? Pretty good. good. Hey, that's pretty good. This isn't a cube draft. I never said it was. We're playing some Vampirinos. You want to touch my vampires? No, they seem dangerous. Yeah, it's because of their teeth. 
of Toothuses. You heard. I'm just going to pass here. I'm not going to attack any of your 2-3s. You can make your 1-1s one if you want. Drawing 5 cards seems pretty good. Oh, we just won. We literally just win after we draw 5 cards and have a bunch of vampires out. That's pretty insane, actually. You're welcome. Oh, good lord. Wait, did you... Do you think that's attributed to you? Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you. Good morning, Mike. I was just assuming you just woke up when you joined. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You probably wouldn't be surprised, but you'd be surprised how accurate that is. I wake up at seven o'clock, man. God, I don't think you woke up at seven o'clock. I think you came home, or you went to work, and then you came home, uh -huh. and then you went to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> that's the right order. I like how yesterday was it. Yesterday you were wearing your Punisher shirt, and today you're wearing your. Or yesterday you were in the Marvel shirt, and today we're in the Punisher shirt. Yesterday I was wearing a red shirt. Oh, you're right. You had your red, your red sweater on. All right. God, I totally forget. All the all the all the days one together. I'm gonna bring these two guys in here. I'm gonna take out the cast downs. This card is really good. This is like my, my favorite card ever. Pro Profane procession. Wow. I like this hand. I just wish we had a black source in it. I'm gonna keep it anyway, though. We have 24 lands. And we got it. That that young horse. That young horse. <laughs> Yeah, his rap name is Young Mare. Y-U-N-G Mare. Come on. Black Source one time. Give me a Concealed Courtyard one time. I hate you. <laughs> they said greed was good. They did say that. I guess we're playing this. We'll name vampires, because one day we'll get some vampires. Hunday. Hunday. Are you going to counter this? Sure. You got it. Congratulations. Why does it have to be a black source? You know, I don't know. Oh, wow. Literally, if you came up last turn, would have been good to go. I don't... I can't. You could have named horse. I didn't name anything. It's true. Let's give a... Let's give a... Let's give a call to the feast. Hey, man, you got your phone out? Give me... Give, give, give a call to the feast here. I don't know the number. Okay. Well, you'll figure it out. I don't know how. You don't know how to figure it out? No. Did I just Google feast number or? Yeah. Yeah, look okay. up feast in the phone book. Let me just find a phone book because I don't think this has been around for a while. <laughs> you know they don't make those anymore, right? I killed your glint sleeve, Siphoner. I think we're just going to play mayor here. Actually, we should have played it first then. That was pretty bad. Why didn't we do that first? Now we're just going to play. Why does that matter? Because we gained life, so we would have actually made a horse. No. See, I got distracted. You distracted me. I blame you. Look at me blaming you. I wasn't even saying anything. You said it. I didn't say nothing. Oh, now we're just playing all this. This actually works out well. I'm okay with it. All right, everything worked out. As long as they don't have some card that's like negative one to all creatures. If they wouldn't be fatal pushing this guy, I think, if they had that. Or magma spraying another guy if they had that. So that's good to know. If they're if they're magma spraying and fatal pushing our one ones, we're in a good place. Was it the X Men song? Yeah. Okay. Because someone in the chat said X Men, so. <laughs> Can you make a horse for each of your? Oh. Every time, uh, whenever you, what is it? Whenever you gain life, if you gained life this turn, you make a horse. Okay, so you don't make an infinite five five. That would be sick though. Wow. All right. If you're just gonna one for one our vampire tokens, this is not gonna end the way you want it to end.
Give me that horse again. Oh, that's pretty good. That's going to flip Arena. Or is it? I don't know, is it? I don't know, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. Are you going to kill another one? That's fine. You do what you got to do. God, they still have four cards. I guess they're missing a bunch of land drops, though, so... Sure. You can make one whole B. Oh, Sunmer doesn't trigger when you gain the life. It actually triggers at the end of the turn and says if you gained life. Okay, that's good to know. See, that's from not playing Sunmer ever. Yeah, we're just going to do a thing here. Bullion's binding. Bullion? Mm-hmm. Like, 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 like? Like, like. I'm just going to attack with all these guys, put you to six, and then you're dead to Shefet Dunes unless you draw... Sway of the Suns. I think you're dead. I'm no dead expert, but... I'm going to assume you have died. Oh my god, are we... F Apparently, we are 3-0 with this deck. My god. Wow. Hey, what's our... I imagine you didn't eat, right? I had some chips. Several bags. I had six bags of chips. <laughs> But they're tiny bags, so... Yeah, whatever you, really you got to tell yourself, man. I like how that slowly escalated. You're like, I had I had some chips. I had several bags of chips. I had six bags of chips. <laughs> <laughs> I did that twice today. But, uh, yeah, I could eat. What's our food plan, you think? I don't know. I'll keep this hand. If I can get one Blark mana, I am good to go. Oh, Grandma's home. Sick. That's my favorite. I love when Grandma shows up. If he's admitting to six, what's the real number? Oh, six. That is a scary question. You know, I can just check the trash can, you know. Go for it. I'll find out your chip secrets. Yeah, you have fun going through the trash like a filthy animal. I don't think I'll have fun, but your problem needs to be addressed. I address it every day. Oh, Super Lad Man, tell us more about the KFC issues. What's going on? What's the update? I gotta know. I gotta know how KFC. Chicken? I gotta know. Have chicken? <laughs> gotta know how KFC in the UK is doing. I just want this Legion's Landing to resolve. Don't do me like that. Now I have the X-Men theme song stuck in my head. You guys are terrible, dude. They're short on gravy now. Oh, God. Oh, man. Can't have no chicken without no gravy. No, you can. No. You've eaten chicken plenty of times without gravy. It always has some kind of gravy. Marinara. <laughs> Indian sauce. Don't call marinara gravy. Oh, actually... Yeah. Better value. Yeah, like yeah, I don't I don't really care about. Like he just has to play friendly leagues over competitive leagues. I just don't care. 
like I'm just playing to play Magic. I'm just playing to get reps in with the decks and uh, try out the decks and see how they do. I gotta get my reps in. Yeah, that's not. What I love my reps. For. We're not gonna play anything else. So I'm actually just gonna cycle this. Because if we get like a Forsaken thing, I'd rather just play that this turn so I can play Queen's Commission next turn. Frank Sing Uptown Girl. Well, I might actually have to now because you just got it in my brain. Yeah, all you had to say was Uptown Girl, basically. <laughs> oh, that's true. They are doing that Szechuan sus. Oh, why? Why, Frank Lord, are always doing the stream when you're humming some song that gets stuck in my head? What's next? Uptown Girl? Well, funny you should mention that. Ooh. Yeah, like, so this guy's like... I won't be sniping, but do you still stream? So I'm, I'm literally going to trust. Like, we, we have a, a dialogue going back and forth. So this is a person I will likely be trusting not to snipe. You know what I mean? Because I've just got a better impression than someone who sits there and sil in silence and uh, doesn't actually interact with you. They just show up randomly in your stream. So we'll see. What did you say to me? To enjoy the silence. Enjoy the silence. Caravans, this guy creeping behind me is actually my parole officer. Um, I got to uh, keep him on his toes. I got busted for uh, uh, breaking and entering once and, uh, back when I was 17 years old. And he's just been... He's so been, are you like 18 now? Yeah, he's been keeping watch over me ever since. Why are you killing my guys? I thought we were friends. You know what? I hate when you're friends with someone and then you just kill your guys. You got two planes. What do you got? Did you play planes? Reveals planes, plays planes. Okay. So one plane is Durian gone. candy? Ooh. No one wants durian anything, just to be clear. Get him. Don't be killing this guy. Don't be. Don't be. No, oh, that's all. That's all we're doing. All right. Deal. Oh. Who? Who? Let's say vamp. Seems good. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine perms. Come on. Man, you don't need vigilance. I want it though. Needing it and wanting it are two different things, buddy. That's true. Yeah. Good talk. It was an okay talk. It was a mediocre talk, I think. I'm not I wasn't a big fan of it. Oh, I think you died. I think we just killed you, I'm sorry. Oh, you might have fatal push actually. If you have fatal push, you're fine. Oh, you don't have fatal push. Woo! 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 Woo whoop. Hootie who? Actually, I think Procession's really good in this matchup because you can just exile their Embalmed guys. It's expensive, but it still works, I think. Who do you? I don't know if I want to bring anything else in, though, right? Well, I want to bring a little Fatal Push, maybe? Kill their dudes? Mortal Sun, maybe? Eh, yeah, Fatal Push seems fine. I think you mean match four, game two, Daniel. You got your matches and your games confused. Man, Rick Ross hospitalized with pneumonia? Dang. Ricky Ross. This hand is great. So I'll keep it. Oh, keep it. <laughs> I really hope he gets my Monty Python reference. Because this guy literally is a... Con like, they're all conquistadors. They're like... They're literally an Inquisition. 
So me saying no one ever expects the Vampiric Inquisition is just hilarious. And I really hope it's not lost on people because it's very funny. No one ever expects the Spanish Inquisition. That's the original joke. Thank you. I am in Florida. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Uptown Mike. He's been sleeping in his room all day. Doesn't wake up until five o'clock. That's that's about the end of the song, I think. It was a good song. It's a good song. I like. How much? You need a vampire lord. Uh, why don't you need a vampire lord? Do you ever think about that? I don't, though. You will one day. One day. Look at all my boys. Flipping our thing. Flips. All right, all our guys are going to die. They're going to go Yehenny's expertise or some nonsense. Actually, they only have two lands. Did we ramp? Did they miss three land drops? It's turn five? Oh, God. This is no bueno. There's a plains. There's an anointer priest. Can we get that, that, that lord that Mike was talking about? No? Okay. Well, this is kind of like a lord, I guess. The Lord of the Dunes. Grandpires. <laughs> I would have definitely expected Spanish Inquisitions of Kozilek to be more than regular Inquisitions. Oh, check this out. You want to see something cool? I guess. Look at this new stream feature. We're on the actual overlay. On the actual page. If it ever loads. We got this over here and you can click it and it shows oh, the deck. that's crazy pretty sweet right it is pretty sweet um what do we just pump and then kill this guy and attack for a million that feels right Do we play land? I think we played land. Do we? Oh, we played yeah. the dunes. Okay. It's the only desert we got, so let's do it. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's sad. Thought we were friends, but we're not friends because you killed my 1-1 one, one. when he was a 2-2. Two, two. Two, 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 two. That's pretty good. I like Evolving Walls of the Hidden Stockpile. That's pretty good. Don't bless him. He doesn't deserve that. Papa bless. You're a Papa bless. Wow. 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 Do, 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 do. Dude, why does this song always get stuck in my head? I don't know. I always, this 311 song, always. Always with the stuck in the head. Are they going to wipe the board here? Yehenny's expertise into Saram's expertise? No, that doesn't work. Yehenny's expertise into. Nothing. Can Yehenny's just do it? I mean, that just kills your guys. Uh, You just kill my guys. Huh. This is basically a chef at dunes, so we're just going to save amps here. Play a land. And we could have also chef at dunes if this was actually a land and not just a, a card that sits in between two lands, which is really obnoxious, but, you know, what are you going to do? Oh, God, what's happening? 
Wow. I did not expect Settle the Wreckage, I'll be honest with you. Oh, we get a bunch of lands, so that's cool. All the basics left in the deck. Okay, I want to make sure I click all of these, because it's really obnoxious. Okay, done. Because they've just said all of them. Is that a possibility? Like, they could have just given me all of them. There could be an all button. All button. What a fool I am. What does that mean? I mean, you had to do that, right? Ah, oh, Spanish Inquisitions are $40. There we go. That sounds more like it. Mm, sure. Make a dude. Make another dude. Man, I feel like that settle was really, uh, I just didn't expect settle. Definitely not. It's pretty brutal. Hmm. So now they get anointer priest back and make two anointer priests. That's pretty good. Oh, I see. That's better. Well, that's terrifying. A lot of cats. Oh, well, Fragmentize is definitely coming in here. I seriously didn't see Settle coming. That's really sad. I guess we just make one guy a turn and live with that. Just live with it. Just live with it? What does that mm -hmm. mean? Are you drunk? Oh, you said it, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, now that we've seen Procession and Hidden Stockpile, and we know they're playing uh, um, tokens, we can actually be more, a little more educated about our our sideboarding decisions. Uh, I have no more basics, so you're literally just killing a land there. Wow, I never thought I'd get to a place in Standard where like I'm out of basic lands. Salon's binding. Oh, God, that's brutal. Yep, Fragmentize. All of the Fragmentizes are coming in at this point. Salon de Banditos. What is that? All of the Bandit Lord in Spanish. Is it? It's like Salon de something. It's crazy. Oh, that's pretty good. I guess we just horse it up. We'll go one, two, three, four. Deal. Well, we definitely gained some life here, so that's cool. This is my horse. It's indestructible. I'm just horsing around. Erbos, Dios de la Muerte. That's actually pretty sweet. Yeah, horses live, though, if they have, if they have Fumigate, because it goes kills everything. This guy has indestructible at the time it dies. And then it just loses indestructible, so that's pretty cool.
what they sacrifice there? Probably a one one. Oh, that's pretty good. Now we're getting now we're getting broken. So you just get a million one ones here, is what you're saying to me? Can we get our like Ixalan's binding? Now I just want my Ixalan's binding back. I want my Ixalan binding. It's a lot of dudes. So block here, block here. Totally fine. We get a horse instead of a vampire. Oh, that's even better. I see. Oh, you're doing a thing? Oh, you're going to sack it to... Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, we don't gain life. Darn it. I just want to gain some life here. Can't you let me gain life? I just want horses. Why are you the way that you are? Oh, we all die. Okay. Everybody dies. All right. Well, we're making a lot of vampires. making guys oh my god three hidden stockpiles come on oh my crying out loud that seems reasonable yep, we're just gonna go to the next game we have no real answer for these idiots Okay, Fatal Push is not great here. Fragmentize is. Cast Out's great. Binding is great. Profane Procession. A little slow. It is a little slow. You're right. Sand seems good. I will keep it. Martyr into Radiant or Queen's Commission? Yeah, that seems great, actually. Oh, that was a good draw. What are we doing for dinner? What did you say? Did you answer me? No. What do we? How do we feel? How are we feeling? Well, I don't want to get disappointed by Indian food again. That's well, for sure. I feel like they can't disappoint us twice, right? That's what you think. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me. Won't get fooled again. I want my my TV. One, two, three, four, five, six. Burp, 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 burp. What? I was doing some beats. Were you? Like Doug Funny? Yeah, like Doug Funny. He was... Doug Ha Ha. Oh, that was a great draw, because now we can actually play Radiant Destiny and Forsaken Sanctuary. And next time we draw four. I am okay with this. Just gonna kill this guy? Oh, you're just gonna kill a small guy. Okay. The 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 deal. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have nine. Ugh. I guess I don't care about the vigilance, right? The money for nothing and the checks for free. I want my I want my Oh, 
I could kill another one? God, all the Fatal Pushes. Fatal Push seems really bad in this match. I guess it kills Legion. Loyalist or whatever. Oh, that would have been good last turn. I guess it's still fine, though. If they don't have a fifth land, though, it's actually real good because we can get rid of this before they get rid of our champion. Oh, they had a land. Okay. Money for nothing and magics for free. It's still actually pretty good. Money for nothing, chickens for free. <laughs> That's how you do. No, I guess a lot of black instead, just to make it castable, you know? Not bad. Get rid of that dude? Sure. Give it back. Oh, we don't get it back, unfortunately. Oh. It's not like Oblivion Ring or something, but... I thought it was. Yeah, you would. That's pretty okay. I think we're in good shape. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I think we're actually unable to do both, unfortunately. We are one mana shy of doing both, but... Glad this isn't legendary. That'd be sad. Do you have third fatal push? You block here, you take nine. You have to have third fatal push. I think I actually win. I think this is a game. Unless you have third fatal push. When they don't do anything, I just assume they're saying something. Oh, got him. It was a pleasure. I'll come by the stream now. Handle is less than savory. Cookies and screamed. <laughs> <laughs> Cookies and creamed? Okay. Oh, man. Alright, 4 0. That's pretty good. Let's see if we got this. One more. Can you 5 0, though? That's what we're trying to figure out. Michael's for nothing and the Franks for free. You just call yourself free? Maybe. Shouldn't insult yourself like that. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Cookies and cream, good games, man. Your deck is actually I really have to like the, the token deck you really have to beat before a certain point, otherwise you're just literally never gonna beat them ever. Oh, what's up, Mike? Mike, I'm still waiting on that email, buddy. I don't know what's going on, but they're really taking their time. Oh, God. Chad is in the chat now. Can't win now. Basically dead. Avoiding work. Oh, my God. I like avoiding work. That is Hunter in the background chasing his tail. He doesn't know how to not do that, so so he does it. Well, no one's even watching. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Infinite two drops. We take a little damage, but who cares? All our deck does is gain life. Oh, look at that guy. My guy's better than your guy. My guy's better than your guy. My guy's better than yours. My guy's better than he's a summon. Do, 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 do. That's a song I wrote. It's dumb. <laughs> oh, what did you just say to me? I said it's dumb. You're dumb. Maybe you are. Can I just trade with this guy? That seems pretty good. If he doesn't shoot it. Yeah, they're going to shoot it now, but like, I think they forgot that it's like... Nope, okay, cool. That was a good deal. Michael's for nothing and the Max for free. 
whatever that means. This old, are we doing the old block and shoot here? Blocky and shooty? No, you're just going to take two. All right. Good deal. Oh, I should have waited and played that. No, too bad you're a dummy. Well, we took one is the problem. Like, I, we would have taken one to do that. And, uh... Uh, this was a, a deck that went 5-0 in leagues, so it's not like my my deck or something. Sure. Well, they're definitely going to shoot something this turn, which is nice. No, oh, alright, so now we're, we feel good about our life choices. You're going to let me attack with all three? Oh, wow. That is very nice of you. Good deal. And you're just going to trade here? And there? I would have taken one more damage and uh, not let me flip a Danto here, but, you know. You do you. A Danto. <laughs> Here comes, a, here comes a chicken. Oh, just for two? Sure. Here comes a chicken. It was not a chicken. It's always a chicken, Michael. It was not. <laughs> draw four cards. Seems good. I mean, they're just going to shoot two guys in response, right? It's still draw two. A 5-5 five, five, draw two. Yeah. Or we could play both of these guys and just do that next turn. So if we attack, they lose a counter here, and we get two damage in, so they block. And then they have to shoot another one, but then they lose Walking Ballista if they want to do that. So I think it, attacking is basically the same as playing the champion. Well, it's a 4-4, but it's still, I, I get your point. Draw two. Uh, it's a 4-4 that lets you draw two and kills a Walking Ballista, which is pretty good, so... And if they don't actually shoot another guy in response, then we actually draw three, so that's cool. Champion of Dusk has been great every time we've played it. So, oh, no, we're just going to draw three. Or no, I'm going to shoot one. You get one shot. You only get one shot. Nope, okay, well, we're just going to draw three then. That's pretty good. That seems better. Here comes Glorybringer. You Glorybringer or Gar Yep. Nope, that's a Hazard. I don't think I care about that. No blocks. No blocks. I wish this was an Ixalan's Binding so we can actually get rid of this, but I think we're still fine. We have five cards. They have one card in hand. Okay. And I think we're in good shape. Michael's for nothing and the Mike's for free. Oh, I missed the comment. What was the comment? I was watching your VOD for the Salty Super Friends and it was the first time I've ever... Yeah, I actually, I read your I read your YouTube comment. I was like, God, Chad, that's real aggressive, buddy. Cast Out has Flash, I, but I wanted to attack for four. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh, I guess they were tapped, right? I don't care. How's that? How's that? I don't care. Think about that. Wow. I actually just got excited about having a way to... Uh, to kill Hazard, I didn't realize we had this in hand, so um, I was like, "Oh, great! We can get rid of this too." I for I totally forgot, and then I got excited. I got overly excited. So, I 
Sometimes I get excited. I don't like you. Me. I like how you hold the mic all the time. It's always like you're... Mike always holds the mic like this. Like he's holding the, the mic stand like this. Yeah. So and I don't then he fall puts off. his face right up to it. I don't fall off the earth that way. I think I'll probably still... What is it? Six mana? No, for three? Yeah, okay. Now you can play Lord and the Lord. So we do it the other way. How about this? We go one. Let's take the least amount of damage possible. One, two, three. And then we have blank. Yeah, okay, that'll do. I'll name vampires. He is a flat earth kind of guy. He'll just fall right off if he doesn't hold that mic stand. I'm more of a flat pizza kind of guy. Is pizza ever not flat? Yeah. Is it really? The pizza I make. What kind of pizza do you make? It's uh, It looks like popcorn. You like a popcorn pizza? Yeah. That's weird, man. It's delicious. All right, they go to one. Spire of Industry, no longer an option for colored mana if you need it. Also, ain't you ever heard of combo pizza? Combo pizza? Mm-hmm. No. You know, you get a bag of combo pizza? No, no one does that. <laughs> you don't know about pizza combos? Pizza combos, I know about. Combo pizza, I don't. Same thing. It's really not. Oh, there you go. Deep dish pizza. That's not flat. You're not flat, you stupid dummy. Wow. Uh, I kind of like this, actually. Gets rid of hazards and... Glory bringers and things. I'm going to bring another one of these in here. Everything else seems fine. I think our deck's decent. I feel like this deck is, does well against aggressive decks. You know, because we go wide and have a bunch of life gain. It's pretty easy. We go wide. Super wide. You're super wide. Got him! Yeah, I'm a thick boy. <laughs> Sand is also great. I will keep it. One drop, two drop, three drop. What? Can I get... Oh, they went to five? Oh, boy, I'm feeling this 5-0 -oh incoming, guys. We're going to have some treasure chests open. Is that what you get? Well, we get play points, which is what I really want, because then we can run all these cubes. But also play points. Or, but also uh, treasure chests. But also. Yeah, but also. <laughs> but also. <laughs> but also... Like the guy from Star Wars? Yeah, but yeah, wait. So you mean Sabalba? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, but also it's just an anagram of Sabalba. <laughs> oh wow, triple inspiring vantage is your opening lands. That's pretty interesting. I am how you say intrigued. So we can play this. Yeah, we're just gonna play this guy, because we have nothing else to do here. So you can block here, block here, don't care. Just attack here for five. I have a feeling Pia is going to block the Martyr, but that doesn't seem great. Pia actually blocking here might even be better, because then we only get... Or no block at all. All right. How do we always get talking about the, 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 the episodes one through three on the stream? I don't understand how it always comes up. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I know. Oh, I'll take it. Did you want to raid? Is that why you did that? Get a little raid on? Oh, a chicken. A beautiful chicken. That I will cast out immediately. Or we can pray, play play this and then... I don't want to actually get this back because then if they kill it... Yeah, I'm just going to cast it out. And this time we're casting out on our turn because I want to attack. So, suck on them eggs. Where's your chicken now? Where is your chick your god chicken now? He's dead now. A guy came in bragging about vegan nut cheese he made himself. I think my laughter was too mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you know how it goes.
abrade our our beautiful lord. Have you heard the good word of our lord, the Legion Lieutenant? Well, we're just going to pass here because I don't feel like these are profitable blocks. Block, block, yeah. It seems as if you've managed to stabilize, my friend. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this one this old this old chestnut that I can just exile? All right. Sounds good. Pretty sure we just block here. Or not. You're at 7. Yeah, he's at 7. Yeah, I'll just that's fine. I can also exile this next turn and just take it and then just take another Yeah, sure pump that guy one. You got it. So wait, we can. It's when it's when something we have loses enter that leaves the battlefield, right? So we can't actually push this guy. We can one, two, three, four, five. We can get rid of you. Not care about Hazaret, because really, why would we? You're at four. All right, seems good. Yeah, one card. Money for nothing and the rips for free. Rips. That's a good candy. Riley's rips. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Is that the name of your brand? Let's draw a pump thingy. Hey, that, that works. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, all right. Woo! Did it. All right, let's open these chests, and then we'll talk about the deck. How about that? You only get 80 play points? Yeah, it's a friendly league. Friendly, open them all. Friendly crap league. What do we got here? 55 play points. We got a Diabolic Edict, which is probably not the best masterpiece. Ooh, Masterpiece Oblivion Stone. Let's see what that goes for. Probably nothing. Five. Okay. No, that's fine. That's five tickies. Brain in a Jar, Disaster Radius, Veilstone Amulet. Alright, so this is probably not great. If there's anything you guys notice that's good, let me know. But I don't think there's anything in here that's really worth anything. That is a good looking O-Stone. No joke, but unfortunately it's not worth like five tickets. But I'm going to screenshot this. And then I'm going to show you a new thing we're doing. And then we're going to go... We're going to go right over here. add okay we do have to add one of these zombies how about now how about can you hear me now okay so this is a little thing i added called the end step it's where i can actually talk about the deck that we just played instead of just doing it over the deck or whatever um so there we go figured it out nailed it and uh i didn't actually incorporate mike into this so he's over here now because i didn't i didn't expect him to be for the constructed stuff but there you go and, uh, yeah, deck was sweet. I, I didn't expect to do as well as it did. We went 5-0. I didn't feel like the matches were... I didn't feel like there were any unwinnable matches. And the deck has, uh, like, three things that I really want in a deck, which is removal, disruption for enchantments, hands, artifacts, things like that, and also card advantage. So this deck has a ton of ways to draw cards between Immortal Sun, Champion of Dusk, and, uh, you know, things like Dust Legion Zealot or Adanto when it flips. Even Profane Procession is a great way to uh, net some card advantage. And uh, you also have Call of the Feast, which is 3-for-1. Queen's Commission, which is 2-for-1. Martyr of Dusk is hard to deal with. And 8 Lords in the deck, which is pretty sweet. So, um, all in all, the deck was great. I was really impressed with it. And uh, highly recommend you guys check it out. I think Crested Sunmare and Champion of Dusk, while we didn't play them a tremendous amount because there's only 3 in the deck, definitely did work every time we played them. I was uh, impressed with them each time. And I think they're fine additions. I would even be considering adding a, ch a second Champion of Dusk somewhere because it was very good. And it was pretty impressive. Two Fatal Push is interesting, but never really ended up being a problem. Cast Out and Nixalon's Binding are obviously the more versatile removal spells. 
and uh, you don't really have a problem with the with the with the decks that go low, like with the decks with small creatures, because your small creatures are just better, and there's more of them, so it's never really a problem. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube, and I'll see you guys next time.